so today's video is going to be on bagging the car with plastic and no paper so i had one of my subscribers ask me how to how i do it and i wanted to show you how i do it so first i back tape all my areas that i'm going to be taping up i back tape the inside of this and then i fold it down that way it's sealed up tight same thing on this here I back tape this and then fold it down so that way I know it's sealed up tight. And I'll go over this after it's bagged and tighten it all up. But you guys see here how I always use that like I showed you in the last video. So that definitely works good. So we got a, a quarter, a rear trunk, and a blend on the door and a two bumper ends that we're doing on this job. So I always use the Norton. I like the Norton blue sheeting and it's the SUV. I always use the large SUV one. That's my favorite. So I always get the SUV no matter what, because I like having the extra plastic. I don't like having that smaller one that sometimes doesn't fit on these bigger vehicles, but the uh, Norton's my favorite. So it's, it's a little bit stronger and it doesn't rip and tear so easy. So it's good stuff. And it's treated on one side that way the paint won't flake off uh you know when you're spraying solvent because you put down a sealer that's solvent and i'm using water base but sometimes if you use the wrong plastic if you guys pick up something at home depot if you're doing it at home it'll flake off through the job as you go to clear it you'll have it blow off the plastic so make sure you get the right stuff go to the auto body store pick up the right plastic that's made for painting otherwise you guys are going to be in for a big trouble so I've dealt with that before and I learned the hard way so make sure you get the right stuff but I'm going to show you now so after I have it all back taped because I do it by myself and make sure you get the right side of the plastic I lay it in front of the car and I pull it from the side that I don't have masked up that way it doesn't get caught on the tape so if you're painting the front, start in the back. And if you're painting the um, front, you know, do it the opposite. So I'll pull it like this. So I do it like I'm almost like I'm working on the bed at the house, making when I'm doing it by myself. Just pull it out I start on this side that's not with tape on it that way it doesn't pull it and then I know when I get over here to this side it'll be better off to uh, do it second so just pull it down the boost pulling it and sometimes it'll get caught on the tape but you could get it off just don't get crazy and pull it I've had a lot of guys through the years get uh, you know riled up when it gets caught on something and pull it and yank it cause more trouble than it's good just be be calm with it but with this boot being a downdraft it uh, pulls it down and don't pull it all over the place <clears throat> so that's the first step make sure you get it tight you want your plastic nice and tight that way it's not blowing in the wind on you and uh, fluttering back and forth. You want it as tight as possible. So you do that and then the next step, since it's all outlined with the tape, now you'll take your blade and this is where you gotta be careful when you're blading it, doing it this way. You might wanna double tape your uh, areas you're gonna be blading, but you just hold it nice and easy and just run it nice and light on the um, tape. Like I said, be careful not to push down too hard. You don't have to push real hard because you got, you're just cutting the plastic. So you'll get used to it after a while, just how much pressure to put on it. But I've been doing the bagging this way for years now. And uh, I like it a lot better than than using uh, paper, it's cleaner, and it's uh, better to me. 
you don't have any lint because you don't have any paper i know a lot of the papers are um you know treated with the wax on them but i've had the best luck of doing it this way and having the cleaner jobs but just run it nice and easy and if you do you know push too hard make sure you check it before you finish up the job but i don't really ever do that anymore in the beginning i had a couple bloopers with it but so run along the uh tape and i'll show you now as i peel it out so you could just start in one area and you see this part here it's kind of like it's not back tape just start there and it'll hold it where the window is I have it taped along the urethane because I don't want to get any kind of paint on that urethane for the glass guy. I like to leave that so he can just put his urethane right on the glass uh, on this other bead here and keep on rolling. You don't have to cut off it, but just maybe whip a piece at a time if you're new to it. Do this strip. But it's nothing to it just put it on cut it out peel it out of there i usually get a fresh blade every time i use the uh i do a job because these blades that they're selling nowadays they dull out so quick that you can't really use them like you used to have blades would last you a lot longer but like everything they're making them not as good Just peel it out. Well, now some guys won't even back tape this, but you can see it's all cut out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run my tape around it again, seal it all up, make sure it's make sure it's good. Peel out any little spots that might be caught. So it's all bagged up and when you're doing it just now check around all your edges make sure that you don't have any spots you miss you could you know pick up on this check it and when you blow the car off blow around the edges make sure you don't have any holes you'll see it when you go to blowing on it now i'll pull this off right before i go ahead and because i got to wash this but if you haven't seen this part that i showed in the last video 